Assalamualaikum and a very good evening. Welcome to Daphne Iking's channel. Thank you all for joining us. I'm not sure how many people are actually watching this live right now as I speak, but if you are here and you have come because of the Instagram post or my Facebook post with regards, or even my Twitter post, because that's where this whole thing started, yes, I am going to be addressing some of the comments that I've been getting over Twitter, which initially I wanted to just, you know, sort of make it low key because it was just a few things and then it become it became viral and then an article or two picked it up and I decided to address some of the comments because recently I just went through some of the comments and some were very mean, some were very heart felt, some were downright trolley. Now as a social media trainer, so I train companies um, at a corporate level about social media strategy, I know when to pick a fight. I know when things are a little bit trolley and people are just being, you know, they're just they're just expressing their grievances over social media and I know that it's been very very difficult for everyone not just here in Malaysia but all around the world so I know when to lay off but then when it became an issue and you know I decided today I'm gonna be addressing it so let's get right to it what is the topic for today Daphne Iking the kacham charang guna thermomix ganti roti jeng 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 yeah so this was the headline of the article that picked up the news over Twitter and it says here okay now they changed it because initially they started off with uh, in English it was lawyer the canal gun lawyer lawyer my husband has his, the original screenshot you can go and check out Jola Bossi's one but here they've corrected it thank you very much pengacara terkenal Daphne Aking menerima kecaman hebat netizen apabila gara-gara memberi cadangan kepada orang ramai agar membuat roti sendiri menggunakan perkakas premium rentetan harga roti gardenia naik bermula esok so this was on the 30th of this uh, November and Gardenia basically sent out a statement or a memo to all these retailers saying that, you know, they've had the pricing of the breads um, for a very long time. They've never increased the prices, but now they have to make that hard decision of increasing the prices. So now the classic loaf of bread is going to be two ringgit 80 cents. Okay. So this memes that you can see, which was captured, is actually over my Instagram page. And this was the original post. And this memes was actually created by my good friend Oyin because she thought it was quite hilarious. So she planted my face there. And then after that, a few other advisors followed suit, including, of course, my very own team, Diva Romas. And if you're watching, give me some love, you alls. I know you guys have been so supportive after reading this also. So it says there, Gardenia increasing prices of its bread products starting December 1st. It shows three, it's actually Spice Adams, right, Papa? Yeah. So this is Spice Adams, okay, a celebrity in his own right. And it shows a memes of him with Massimo, which is another brand of uh, bread, uh, bread making machines. And then it shows him also with the Penjual Tomo mix. So someone created this memes. It wasn't from me, but yes, my friend planted my face there, uh, found a shot of me laughing and then put their Penjual Tomo mix. And I found it really hilarious because of the fact that, well, for the longest time, unless I am traveling for very short periods and I don't have my thermal mix with me, which we're going to get into in just a bit, because some people actually ask over the comments, Apa ini thermal is is it like you know uh, 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 insect spray okay so I'll, I'll I'll let you know what the momix is all about and um, you know they put their pinjot the momix so I thought it was hilarious and I found this quite good because I don't buy breads anymore unless again like I said if I don't have my thermal mix with me then I am traveling for short bits of time and then I'll go and buy off yes we love our gardenia bread I love 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 so no malice nothing towards uh, gardenia first and foremost because my kids and I we we love 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 our gardenia bread but ever since I've had my thermal mix and because I can make and bake my own breads and not just that but many 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 other recipes I mean our cookie do alone has like 80,000 recipes okay and it is constantly growing um, you know there's no need for me to buy bread and it's preservative free so this was just a little fun promotion uh, to say the least with regards to the career that I am happily involved with which is the thermal mix business okay so that's what it is so today I am going to be addressing some of the um, comments 
that I have been reading over Twitter. So let's get right to it. Apparently, now one of my sales advisors and partners in Thermomix Diva Romas, she actually went last night over all the comments and she had a good laugh. Um, 2,000, 3,000 comments, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't go that far, okay? As I said, some were just ridiculously trolly or <coughs> painful and it's not easy to read. Um, but some were very, you know, far-fetched and I felt that I can't be angry with you guys because you don't know less. Hey, you don't know. Betul kan, baby? You don't know less. You, lo, you, you don't know. You're, you don't know. You're not informed. Okay? Macam mana nak marah kalau memang you tak tahu pun benda tu apa, kan? Now, sebenarnya satu. I think I'll start off with one of the comments which was somewhere in the middle. And they said, siapa ni? Artis tak kenal pun. Alright? So maybe I should introduce myself first and foremost. My name is Daphne Iking. It is Daphne Eleanor M. Iking with a G. So it's not pronounced, I mean, not spelled with the I-K-I-N. It has a G. So that was a bit of a typo in the article. Um, and I am a mother to four beautiful kids. Um, I am a content creator. I used to be in broadcasting. I was in Media Prima for a very long time. That was the bulk of what I used to do um, in TV3 and TV7. I did some work for 8TV. Um, I still am doing work for TV, but I've sort of pivoted where most of us here who have been affected by the lockdown just had to pivot and just had to sustain or thrive in whatever they can do to make ends meet. Likewise for myself, all right? So I'm a content creator, I'm a professional MC, I do live streaming, and this was one of the things that we had to pivot during the MCO because for someone who is in the entertainment scene, there is definitely, there was no events going on. Everything was canceled. Everything was so indefinite, all right? And at that point of time, when I decided to purchase or rather invest in my Thermomix, it was actually a very long process because my good friend Wyomia actually owns one, not one, she has two. And she has been going on and on about how good it is. She's not an advisor, she's just a user. And I'm like, yeah, I was pretty impressed, but at the same time, like, why would I want to spend that much amount of money when, you know, I barely cook at home and stuff like that. But during the lockdown, I was heavily pregnant with my fourth child. Um, I went through a caesarean. My helper, who's you know, she's she's a fantastic cook and she doesn't she wasn't with us because of the lockdown, borders were closed. Um, she couldn't come and help me not only during my pantang but throughout the first good few months of Elon and the newborn and me adapting to everything with the whole works and everything, right? And my husband and I used to order a lot of food outside because I I I wouldn't say I don't cook. It's just that the sort of food that I cook in this household Taklah ikut cita rasa suami saya yang sangat melayu. Dia suka dia punya sambal, dia suka dia punya curry. And he would normally do a lot of the cooking, all right? And because of that, there's a story to this, okay? Because some of the comments also came out as, why is she doing direct selling? Oh my God, because she's got, you know, she's a has-gone, it's has-been, by the way, just to correct you. It's not has-gone, it's has-been. So, um... Yeah, I had to do what I had to do. Daphne Iking is a brand uh, to remain um, relevant in this industry. There are things that you have to keep doing to upskill yourself, to uh, make sure that you are constantly learning, reskilling, doing what it has to. You have to do to be able to keep up with life, all right? For the longest time, most of my social media pages were private because I wanted to keep my private life personal. And then I realized that social media was such a big, huge thing for most of my clients. In fact, I lost a job. Well, actually not because they sort of extended a role to me in the end, um, just because I did not have enough Twitter followers. So can you imagine? And that's just how things have to evolve in life, okay? Just like how I said, this is uh, this used to be our music room, but now it is our small, little, cute live stream studio. And in this case, when jobs were pending, we had no idea when this MCO was gonna lock in. My husband was cooking up a storm in the kitchen and I am a clean freak. So I was getting really, really exhausted. And someone had actually, I know I've not even got into Thermomix yet. Someone actually recommended me Norwex, which is a microfiber cleaning cloth. And it is on a more premium side. And I decided, hey, you know what? I want my free mop. And that's the reason why I joined as a consultant. And I grew my team from there. At that point of time, jobs weren't coming in, right? But my husband just said, okay la, whatever makes you happy. And it was also a 
point where I was missing my friends. So the fact that I had um, this networking business, which I've never done before, mind you, prior to this, this is my first one, Norwex. Um, I was engaging with people from all walks of life, from all across Malaysia, and it brought me so much joy because I'm just like cooped here in, at home, right? So that happened, and because of that, I sort of extended, oh, and, and because of that, I was cleaning up the house and everything, but you know, there's only so much cleaning up I can do. So someone also recommended me the Thermomix, and then it hit me, it triggered me. I'm like, oh, my, my good friend Wayomiao had also suggested it. I'm gonna go into details about what this gadget is all about. Is it just an expensive blender? Found out that I really, really loved it, but I had no guts to tell my husband, so you know what I did? Remember the Norwex business that I did? Yes, the one that so, seemed to bring me not just a free mop and more microfiber cloth that work amazingly, but also some commission, and I was able to use that commission to invest in this Thermomix. So it wasn't as if like, oh, Stephanie, I can kaya, which I need to address also, because someone was saying about, oh, dia tak kaya pun, but slowly, slowly, we'll go through some of the comments, okay? We'll go through some of the comments just to debunk the myths, okay? And this is here, where, this is where I am today. So I was a user first. Um, I never had any intention of becoming a sales advisor, but because I was cooking so much and I was showcasing it over my social media pages, people started asking me more and more about it. So it only made sense that I started to pursue this as a career because, hey, I started to get to know the gadget a little bit better. I wanted to find out a little bit better about the business. I asked around and then boom, here I am. And that was in P4, which would be about April, May this year. All right, and since then I have grown a team of 100 and, 113 over sales advisors. I think we've got more now because some new recruits came in today. So I am the proud branch manager of a growing team, which is very, very new, called Diva Romas, who are watching right now. And if you're watching right now, please give me some love, girls and boys, okay? Um. So that's that, okay? And that is the story of who is Daphne Iking, okay? I am not a... Someone asked me, Diani penyanyi ke pelakon ke? I have done those in the past. I'm not fantastic in it. Um, I've won the pelakon harapan for FFM for my 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 stint in Belukar. Uh, but my main core love and joy has always been journalism, um, as well as producing shows on the go. Okay, and of course now I've sort of pivoted into live stream and stuff like that. Okay, so that is who I am. All right, so it starts off with this tweet by, I don't know what his real name is, and that's the thing about thermo uh, Thermomix, about Twitter or social media, sometimes they don't really put in their real name, okay? So like for me, you will see all my social media names are as it is. I am Daphne Iking. If you see any funky, weird name and you've got my face on it, that's not me. I always use my real name. So still with a dollar, writes here and this was tagged someone tagged me and said like oh what do you have to say about this give me your two cents worth artist bangang tak ada empathy setengah orang bergantung pada roti as makanan harian kot so when i read this i'm like okay i'm not saying anything about i i'm not memperli orang yang tak dapat beli gardenia i'm just saying look I don't, I'm okay with the rise and increase of the gardenia bread because I make my own bread. That is all I was saying in that memes. And if you would like to find out a little bit more about how you can make your own breads with the Thermomix, please feel free to reach out. I'm free for tonight for a Zoom and let's talk business, all right? If you want to know more, just contact me. And that was it, okay? So then I decided at night when I couldn't sleep, Elon was asleep, my husband was watching football, he continues saying, Ingat semua orang can afford to buy Thermomix ke? Kau ingat kau pakai Thermomix roti tu sedap? Oh. So that's the first thing I'm going to address because it's top on the list, right? Oh, it is sedap, all right? It is very sedap. Um, ingat semua orang can afford to buy Thermomix. I can afford to buy the chocolates that I love. I won't be able to afford an island of the Caribbean. There are things that we can afford and we can't afford, but it's based on, and I can, like I said, I can probably afford to buy a certain premium product, but sometimes I don't choose to buy that premium product because I don't think it's beneficial for me, all right, personally. And whoever knows the Iking Azmi household will know how frugal we are, all right? So I don't just simply buy things because I'm formal. 
we really go into research about looking for the things that we invest in. These camera equipment and stuff like that, we spend a little bit more because it is part of our work. Um, it's our working thing that we need. It's a working tool, all right? And it gives us um, very good pr uh, pr pr what is it? quality um, equipment. Um, and we use it because it churns out money. So in this case, ingat semua orang can afford to buy Thermomix. It's very subjective, don't you think, Papa? It's very subjective, all right? So I thought I was not able to afford a Thermomix for that two years that I was contemplating when my, my, my friend was saying, you should get it, you should get it. But at that point of time, I did not need it. When I invested in it, finally, I needed it. Where did I find that money? It came from commissions from another network business that I did. Sikit sini, sikit sana, boleh. All right, so it comes to that point where if you want something, you can afford it. And in this case, the Thermomix is such an, a great investment um, that you can even buy it for installments or earn it for free. All right, so kau ingat kau pakai Thermomix tu roti tu sedap ke? It is. The Chang Tang Chou milk bread is the bread that I always, always make or bake. And it's a favorite because there's no preservatives. It takes about two hours plus, which includes proofing the bread. And it's such a therapeutic um, thing for me to be baking my breads at night, especially at night, because it's something that I just do and it's, 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 it's my me time, all right? When I want to roll out, when I'm thinking, it's my therapeutic way. So this is me. This is my personal opinion. The children love it. Everyone loves it. It tastes fantastic and it's preservative free. You know what's funny? Daphne be acting like she's rich when the truth is she has, she also has no money. Kena ikat perut, jumat cermat, I guess just jimat cermat. She's good at boot licking the royalties, pelayan yang baik. I, I have no idea how that relates to the tweet. So that's clearly a bit of a trolley feel there and that, that person is just, you know, stating his opinions which doesn't have any correlation to that because one thing I've noticed, right? When I want to say something, when I want to use my platform to address things that I dislike or which, fi which I find very annoying in my life, okay, be it in my personal life or things, but if it's going to be like my more public platforms, I would like fight for things like Sexual Harassment Act that needs to be built in the parliament, the right for paternity leave, let's extend it to seven days. Um, um, the one good great campaign that I was part of was to implement sexual grooming as part of our Child Act in 2017, which Alhamdulillah, all the men, uh, members of parliament were able to sign off and said, yes, we're in agreement, despite, you know, opposite spectrum of the political uh, barisan. <laughs> Sorry, too much cafe today, too much cafe. They were all signing it and that's great. So I would be able, I would use my platform to voice out concerns like this, like, oh, I'm happy about this. But you must always be able to provide a solution or give your, your feedback constructively. I, I believe that everyone has the freedom to voice out their grouses. I believe that everyone has the freedom to express their frustration. But it wouldn't be it wouldn't it be so much more constructive if you offered a solution instead of just mamaki hamun, okay? And I've had debates or friendly banter with people who had opposing opinions, and we've agreed to disagree. And it was very civilized and very cordial in that manner, because at the end of the day, that's what makes us bangsa human, global citizens of the world. Because we're so diverse, we're definitely going to have difference of opinions, we have different backgrounds, different cultures, different religious beliefs, right? So that's bound to happen. But if we can offer our solutions, our opinions maturely, mashallah, isn't that so much better, okay? So you know what, Daphne, be acting like she's rich. I've never acted like I'm rich. I don't know how you got that impression that I've been acting very rich. If you go and check out my vlog, Daphne Iking channel, go through our vlog stories, you would see how if we traveled, mind you, not on first class, not on business class, we get the cheapest flight out because there's like a whole jing bang of us. We save, I save very, very hard for those family trips that we take for at least once a year because apa guna juga kalau karaja om karaja karaja kalau tidak juga work. Work hard, tapi no play. 
kalau kau mati besok itu money boleh simpan ke sama kau of course there's moderation kan you work hard you spend it you spend it with the people that you love but in our case we spend it wisely so we choose um, really really budget flights we go to motels a decent janji dia punya toilet bersih itu satu saya punya kalau kau rasa husband saya kau check dulu kalau tandas tu bersih cukup tempat saya mandi tiada tu lipas semua saya on saja and we even bring a food, we even my brought i brought a rice cooker like a small one so that you know every time we're hungry and kadang-kadang kalau kita pergi Europe ka kita pergi US ka pergi tempat-tempat yang lain ka if we don't have an airbnb in that particular place where i can't cook or i can't you know feed my little children and they you know how kids eat right macam tiba-tiba dia boleh lapar at any time kan saya ada tu rice cooker saya boleh masak tu nasi boleh beli sikit-sikit sini sardin telur pun boleh makan terus ngam bawa itu sandwich we've been to Disneyland and then I found out recently that actually you're not supposed to bring food in but because I'm always constantly hungry I've also got low blood pressure uh, low blood so I'm, I'm uh, low sugar low blood low sugar so every time I'm low on sugar I get a bit woozy so I need to eat frequently my small meals and it's going to be very expensive I'm constantly spending for like the seven of us right um, food on the go spicy so yes I have never acted rich in fact let me show you okay because this is like my bag everywhere this is my bag banan my banan bag because I'm supporting of course locals in their handicrafts but it's also so convenient for me okay so this is my bag and I have premium bags that I have purchased or my husband has given me thoughtfully lovingly um, over the years but sayang saya mau pakai ba and then macam mm, saya rasa ini lagi senang boleh lap-lap jadi kalau kamu cakap saya mau tunjuk kaya kan oh ho kau tengok ba hari ini saya pakai pajama saya I saw no makeup tiada makeup relax saja because I want to keep it real guys I want to keep it real and for, for those followers who do follow my family's social media pages and stuff you will know exactly what I mean okay kena ikat perut jimat cermat yes that is correct I do ikat perut I do jimat cermat I even compost all my sayur I just had my sayur just now because kan harga naik bukan gardenia saja naik harga ah sayur pun naik harga jadi saya punya sawi punya buntut tu kan saya kasih tanam tu sana saya punya small kitchen Aha, eh small kitchen seperti tengok very small. beautiful story from uh, Suzara ah si Suzy alright I'm going to be reading out some comments from some of advisors from Thermomix um, I'm not sure if some of them are from Diva Romas because I've also invited other advisors from other teams you know because at the end of the day we're all Thermomix uh, users and lovers as well as advisors okay so yes um very quickly before I read out Susie's comment um, yeah I I just you know Jimat Cermat I will go, I have made like a small little vegetable patch outside my garden which is upstairs in my condo in my jungle jungle concrete jungle sini sepnya rumah sini PJ and uh, whatever I can try to you know save saya save so memang betul kena ikat perut jimat cermat memang good she's good at boot licking the royalties I don't know why they always say that but I've never licked boots of the royalties okay I'm getting what you mean you're saying that I'm like brown nosing them I don't have to okay I don't have to that's all I can say I don't have to why would I need that pelayan yang baik maybe that's why the queen bought a thermomix from me because I am good at customer service She's not just bought one, but she's bought another two units from me as well as accessories. Maybe I am a very good sales advisor. So thank you very much, Lord. All right, so I've got a comment over here and it's from Suzila Saila. I can't afford to have TM6, which is the new model of the Thermomix, but here's my sincere story how I got my Thermomix. One and a half years without active income because she's a hotelier, I actually know this lady, she is uh, one of my sales advisors. Uh, I inv oh my God, Susie, this is the first time I'm reading this. I invested my last 3,000 in my savings to pay for the TM6 deposit. I never spoke to anyone about this and Alhamdulillah, I got back my deposit as well as her free Thermomix. She continued with food and lemonade business from TM6. I dapat kumpul almost 5,000 ringgit and paid my condo rent. Syukur sangat-sangat. And I will not stop even though I just back to work two days ago. That's the first time I'm reading this and I feel... Susie actually watched one of my unboxing videos that I was doing with my sister who purchased a Thermomix from me and I did it live. 
and she asked me questions. So I know Susie uh, because uh, while we were going to work together when she was still in the hotel line, she joined me in the business doing Norwex and we've become very close since then. And then she asked me, eh, mahal betul ni expensive. She thought it was a blender. And when I explained things to her, um, she decided to join as a sales advisor to earn her free Thermomix. This is the first time I'm reading that, you know, she spent her last savings to be able to um, make that deposit um, for the Thermomix to join as an advisor. So as an advisor, you get to earn your Thermomix for free if you sell six units, okay? But if you don't have a Thermomix on you, then you put a deposit of 2,800 and then you pay either for a light kit or a premium kit or as an advisor, for an advisor kit. But um, starting from next year, 2022, they're only gonna start off, I mean, they're gonna only ha have the premium kit, which is about 480 ringgit. Um, all the stuff that you have inside your advisor kit is worth uh, more than that, obviously. And I always highly recommend all new advisors to take that kit. So they're gonna scrape off the light kit. And I just found out from publicly that she's telling us everyone that she spent the last 3,000 and but lo and behold, see the good news. Um, she is now, she earned not money, not just money, not just free money, a free unit. She also started making money because she started selling lemonade. I remember that day because uh, she she was still a little bit, you know, she's she lives in Perak now she's moved to Penang, but she was still a little bit like you know, scared to use the thermomix. And she'll call me or she'll message me and stuff like that. She started making lemonade, started selling it to her neighbors, and then one day she said like I'm going to start baking buns, but I don't know if my oven's working. I'm like, what do you mean? Oh, I've not touched my oven for seven years. And she got someone, a technician, to look over it, to look over through her oven. And then one one moment later, she's like baking buns. I think two weeks ago she was like on a fruit cake crazy selling um, fruit cake to not just people around her neighborhood, though, not just in Pera, but also sending it to Penang lah, Johor lah. I can't remember, but she was showcasing and she was like doing it the whole night and she earns money so she, as she has pointed out there she earns she earned 5000 ringgit which was able to pay off her rental so thank you Susie for sharing that heartfelt um, story with me i i didn't know if you, you know that's very personal and I, I i really am grateful for that sharing of yours okay all right wow oh there's another one adila Saya pun saja nak share, petang ni saya share nak masak butter cake untuk makan sendiri. Saya dapat 12 order. Alhamdulillah. Dapat tampung seteng, uh, one third of my ansuran bulanan yang murah je tu. Itu pun spend dalam 2 jam je. Alhamdulillah. So this is another, um, see, I, it's all testimonies from people who own a Thermomix. Okay, I, I, I was going to go and try and same what I had to say, like debunked some of the myths, but we've got testimonies from people here very publicly. Um, some of my customers, they really, really want to earn or, or to own the Thermomix. They, they have that desire to own it and I can see why. I mean, it's just a fabulous 24 feature gadget that you just have one at home and it does everything for you, right? So I can understand that deed, but they are always afraid like, what if I can't make my monthly commitments because I've just been laid off? You know, things are a little bit tight right now. So when you want something, you will find a way to buy it, to get it to earn it, all right? So in this case, Adila said that she started making butter cake and one third of it from the 12 orders that she made just today was able to pay one third of her installments. And the installments are as low as 222 ringgit, 0.30 cents. Interest-free guys, interest-free. I know you want it. Come and get it. Come and talk to us, Diva Romas, okay? Masita side says, I am a home baker. I always order fruit from Abang Pink dan Green, Baham. If you don't Baham, Abang Pink is Food Panda. Abang Green would be Grab. Kalau tak silap sayulah, okay? Because I'm too tired to cook. But since I own the TM6, I can prepare home cooked meal for my family and yet my Thermomix helps me in making my orders too. How amazing, all right? And I think I've seen Masita's um, message before uh, previously where she started out as she just wanted to get the Thermomix to help and assist her with her baking. She has um, a proper baking lab at the convenience of her home. And she thought that, you know, I'll just have this to do 
some other stuff that I need to do for my bakes, right? And she realized that it didn't just help her with the baking, but it also helped her with her meal prep for her kids and her family. And she's been cooking up a storm. So thank you, Masita, for sharing that. And I'm so glad that you decided to join as a sales advisor also. My goodness, good stories here. Right, I don't really have to do much here. Okay. Huh? No, it keeps coming off. Okay, my husband said that check up. I think it's the wrong one. No, no, but don't let me. Left to left, right. Yeah. It's just my telinga, ba? Di katat. But we've got some people here who says, you know, uh, like Zarif Gazi here. He says, nah, this ain't it. Bukan geng geng artis pun yang naikkan harga greeninya. So you can see that there's some thought being put into it. I don't see apa yang nak dimarahkan. Yeah. And then someone just had to say something nasty. Which he said, she won't shag you. All right, so someone here says, black currant base, all right? Says, kenapa nak beli Thermomix bila boleh beli bread maker? By the way, kelaka pula artis tak laku jual Thermomix. <laughs> Two things I want to point here. Kenapa nak beli Thermomix bila kita beli bread maker? You know what? I have a bread maker. I hardly use it. I've got a bread maker. You can ask my husband. He, I, I really wanted it. It cost me 800 ringgit. It's a Kenwood. But it just stood there high up on my fridge because it was just such a hassle to do what it had to do. And every time I had to take that bread maker, it was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go and buy my gardenia and be done with it, okay? Because I had this fantastic idea of making my own breads with like black currants and putting in like some almonds and making keto bread. But that all fell down the window because the recipes that was, you know, required there, I had to get all these ingredients. I'm like, where do I get this? How do I get this particular ingredient? However, with the Thermomix, it's just so simple. The basic ingredients of flour, uh, sugar, egg, butter, the one that's Chang, Chang, Tang Shao milk bread that I love, okay? Uh, milk, fresh milk, as well as milk powder. Very easy. The proving takes a little bit longer, but it's such a beautiful process to watch it grow. So, kenapa nak beli Thermomix? You boleh beli bread maker, tak, tak, tak. Tak, tak salah. In fact, some people also, which I read some of the comments, tak salah juga kalau you tak nak ada temo mix, tak nak ada bread maker, tak nak ada kitchen maker, boleh uli sendiri pakai tangan. Tak apa. I'm not saying that you cannot do that. I am just saying that this gadget not only can need my bread doughs, making my own um, pasta, my own pizza, my own this and that, and so many things. Because remember, it has 25 features inside it, so it doesn't just blend. It cooks, it stores, it, it stirs, it 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 is your sous vide, it ferments, it's your egg boil, it's your rice cooker, it's your kettle, it warms up your it's so much. There's about 25 and the peeler's coming soon. I can't wait to get my blade peeler, you alls, you know? So that is, it, it's not wrong, okay? So uh, you can do what you want to do. It's just that this gadget has made me, it so much easier for me because it saves me time. It does it for me. Um, and I don't have to be, you know, taking it up and down because that gadget is the gadget for my kitchen. I don't need to go and correct for my blender here, cari my grinder there, look for my bread maker here, rice cooker, sini kettle, bersih. Satu biji, Thermomix TMC kat dalam ke punya dapur, dah cukup, enough. Okay, and dia kata, by the way, kelakar pula, artis tak laku, artis tak laku. <laughs> you know what? Kalau, kalau saya tak, uh, artis yang tak laku pun, eh, laku ke tak laku, I find so much joy, as in my repeat, my tweet to that response, okay? I find so much joy in my Thermomix career because it does not just pay my bills, but it literally puts food on my table, okay? Let's go to back to some comments here. It says here from Ad Hasna Abdul Rahman, my Asperger's son, Ideal, learned to make jams and sauces using the Thermomix, and we have a small business for him selling biscuits bread. Wow, he made biscuits bread. I should order some from you. Peanut butter and chocolate sauce. It sells well, especially to the expat community around here. Alhamdulillah, Hasna. Okay, I, I know, I've read about Asperger children, and I know um, that you need to constantly keep them busy and focused on an activity for them to be able to go through what they're going through because we don't understand how their brain works, you know? Um, so I'm so glad that he has found joy and not just joy, but also made a little bit of pocket money on the side making beautiful spreads and jams in the comforts of his home. 
All right. Any more interesting comments that are coming? We've got so many comments coming in. I love, 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 love this. All right. We've got Fiza. Don't look for the lump sum amount, 6988. Look at the option payment so you won't feel so expensive. We will teach you how you can earn money to pay monthly installments. So this is an, an advisor. And she said, don't look at the 6988. Now, let me just tell you this, okay? Let me break it down for you. When I, again, you must understand that my house is a very frugal household. Very frugal, okay? Sangat. I compost, I do all the, the works. And it's not just because of the environment, because whatever I can save, I want to save. I'm a kampong girl. My parents taught me that to use whatever resources you have. However, this is how I looked at it. I didn't look at the price of 6988. I looked at the fact that how would it assist me? How would this gadget assist me? Macam phone. Macam phone juga. Why do I need this tool? Why do I need a Sony camera that is projecting my image to all of you guys right now? Because they are tools to help and assist me, okay? I, my helper, she recently wanted to purchase a phone for her, her father and um, for his birthday, that was in November. And she asked me, you know, can I get an advance for, to, for me to buy, um, you know, a phone for my father. So I, I immediately thought, because the, the tool that I am comfortable with is of course a smartphone. So I was guessing, oh, she's gonna finish up all her gaji just to buy a birthday present. And she told me, no, it's only 50 ringgit from shopping. I'm like, what what phone is this? And it was just a simple Nokia phone because, and I went, oh, dia tak nak ke smartphone? Dia tak perlu ke? Dia cuma nak call I? and then put down the phone. She, he only knows how to do that. Dia tak pandai pergi YouTube ke, nak pergi Facebook ke, Instagram ke. He just wants to call me and be done with it. At most, SMS. So that was the gadget that she needs or the father needs. In my case, I need this tool. For the Thermomix, I wanted something that was able to do everything for me so that my kitchen, which is small by the way, I don't have big, big kitchen, okay? Very, very small, very, very tiny like that. Very nice and cozy, all right? So I was able to sell off all my pre love equipment and some I gave it away to people who needed it. I don't need my rice cooker, I don't need my kettle, I don't need my blender, I don't need my bread maker, yes a bread maker, my kitchen aid which I mean, my husband also like, say you're gonna sell the kitchen aid and I'm like yeah, but then say yeah, I don't use it, why don't you just say it? And you know and eventually he said like you know what wrap it up and give it off, I mean like sell it off which I did. All right, I have a sous vide feature in this and not a good sous vide uh, machine would cost you about 3,000 ringgit. Okay lah give you lah the okay average one lah, seribu lebih. If you put all these gadgets together, all these tools that will assist you in the kitchen for meal prep as well as cooking healthy, nutritious food, then it will actually amount more to the 6,988. And again, as Fiza has pointed out uh, quite well, there are options. You can pay either the full lump sum, either by cash transfer or by credit card or debit card and you get like free gifts on that. The second option is to pay, pay, pay by credit card. Okay, so you've got like six all the way to 24 months. And the third option is if you don't wanna use your, you know, you don't wanna lock up your credit card in that sense, they also have the option of a debit card. But again, just a reminder that this machine has a lot of features and you can actually give those other gadgets away and sell them off over Carousel. That's what I did. So that's a little tip for you guys. I even have friends who had the 31 as well as the five and they sold it off um, Carousel. Some of them kept them, and they also purchased the TM6 because they know how great it is. And some people are just comfortable with their TM21s or TM31, which is a, a, a few models away from TM6 because it lasts that long. We've got customers who have the TM for about 25 years. The only time, a good friend of mine from Sabah, she has a TM21. Okay, she, that's another friend, by the way. Um, the only time she had to service her Thermomix was because a cicak masuk ba dalam dia punya motor. Itu saja. Dia ada masalah dia punya motor, betul-betul blade dia, dia semua okay, fantastic. Very the bombastic. Cuma dia kena terpaksa buka sebab ada cicak masuk. Itu lah itu. <laughs> Kisah cicak. Okay, let's see. From Anis Arianti, this is my business partner all the way from Jamaica. She's now in New York. How are you, my love? Um, I know it's wintry cold over there and I can't wait to see you soon. I live in Jamaica and hardly get a chance to eat outside, but I need to eat various foods as I'm a family of seven. So we both have very big families uh, with adult kids, teen kids and baby toddler. So Thermomix is the best. You have to scroll up. Is the best. Is that what she said? Now, actually, Anis's, Anis's story. I know Anis's story because of course she's my partner, right? Anis's story was, I, Intan and myself, Intan is the best friend who's also part of our team. And she said, like, oh my God, how can you not have 
a thermal mix like you're you know you should have one and she's like i don't need it i'm all the way in jamaica i can cook and she's a she's a she's a pretty decent cook she, whatever she wants or the kids want she's able to create it lah cantik ke tak cantik that's imagination she used to feed me when we were neighbors uh, by the way and i tell you after she got the thermal mix the kids actually took it away from her to, to london because uh they they traveled with uh, the father and they brought the the thermal mix with them and Ani said, it's fine. I'm going to be okay. One week without the Thermomix, I'm fine. And she was like, oh my God. The second day, she was like, oh my God, I don't know how to fry this. What am I doing without my Thermomix? You know, and she felt it. She felt um, not having it. That, exact, that, is, that happened exactly for me because we were, my husband and I had a gig in Sarawak a, a few weeks back. And I was telling him, come on, to bring my Thermomix, you know, to Sarawak. He said, for what? You'll have time to cook. Or you, you'll have time to eat all the laksas, the this, the kolomi and everything, right? And I'm like, yeah, true also lah. Yeah, you're right. Why, why would I? You know, there's the hotel food. You can just enjoy the hotel. You can order don't lie. You know, ma, fun to bring it. But we were so packed with rehearsals. I had no time to go out. No time to eat. I'm like, now regret to tidak bawa semua teman mes kan? Itu dapur sana bawa ke hotel pun tutup awal sebab masih covid. Jadi dong takut takut. Jadi macam saya menyesal. So after that, my husband pun hmm, diam macam. Okay, you're right. Tapi dia tak cakap macam tu lah. Dia macam hmm hmm iya kan? Okay, next we've got Zawani Zakaria here saying, Papa. Papa tak pernah suka makan my cooking sebab dia tahu dia akan end up dalam toilet atau kecikkan hati I. Bila ada TMX, TM6 ni, Papa started to ask me masak this, masak that. Sebab dia tak percaya anak tangan kayu dia sudah pandai masak. Betul. And healthy sebab both Papa and Mama ada diabetes. And that happened after 30 years plus. So it is happiness. And this is also great because I know uh, a few of my customers who have also purchased the Thermomix because they have either medical concerns. In fact, Al Fatiha bagi Arwa, my first customer, um, my first ever customer, Arwa Kori, okay, she purchased the Thermomix from me because uh, she was at her last stage of cancer and it affected her, her sensory of taste and smell. But she wanted to still be able to cook for her family, right? So she heard that I was selling the Thermomix and she decided to purchase it because then, you know, she can't taste, she doesn't know if it's nice or not, but at least with the guided cooking that you have with the Thermomix, you can't go wrong, okay, you can't go wrong. And she was able to, those fast, like the last few months uh, that she had with her family, she was able to cook all these wonderful meals. She would start, she would share it over our group chats. And uh, yeah, so some of the reasons why many of my customers purchase and invest in the Thermomix is because they are able to meal prep and cook more nutritious food. You know, like Zawani's parents has diabetes. I know another few of my advisors and customers who have medical concerns and they just want to cook more nutritious food. There was a comment um, that, that came here in my... Um, uh, Twitter and it said something along the line of uh, ah dia dapatkan tu momix tu sebab dia tak pandai masak lah tu yes that's absolutely correct the thermomix is not just for someone who likes to cook it's for someone like me who doesn't know how to cook or rather is not able to cook the dishes or menus or meals that maybe my family likes Okay, like my husband, he's very particular about his curry and his sambal because he's got fantastic mother who cooks delicious, delicious meals. Tapi sekarang boleh lah. Saya boleh lah masak curry yang sepadan dengan mami dia kalau tidak lagi elok. Saya tengok dia baby, tapi dia kurit gigit dia. Jadi, kau cakap yes ke tidak? Tapi sepadan lah kan baby? Macam semua saya punya barang-barang, pineapple tart saya okay. Saya punya jam semua. So, he, may, he always um. constantly... Okay, that would be yes from my case. Malam ni kau tidur couch lain ni. Tapi memang sedap lah. I mean like, you know, for me, I've never cooked curry. That's not a, a, a dish that we are very accustomed to in Sabah. At least for Kadazan Dusun lah. Saya orang Kadazan Dusun, kita suka yang more to the boiling or steaming or soup-soup punya jenis makanan ba. Okay? Jadi, going back to that. Yes, saya tidak pernah mengaku yang saya pandai masak. Tapi sekarang saya boleh masak ko. Oh. Kau bayangkan ba. Banyak lagi saya masak tu. And that's probably the reason why I kept sharing it over my social media pages. It's so easy. I just had to cook snap and share away with my followers and that's when people started trickling in and that's when i decided you know what since people are asking me about it bagusnya jenis sales advisor daripada saya macam 
Sayang-sayang saja bagi tu commission kepada orang lain. Mm. Bagus batu commission. In fact, the commission when we counted, my husband is also still, still very particular. Okay, he, to, truth be told, he wasn't happy that was I was embarking on another networking business. When it was Norwex, he said, okay, I let my wife have her fun because apa dia dah kerja pun, there's no work coming in. But then when I started my Thermomix business, things were starting to slowly pick up. That was before the second lockdown, of course, lah. Things were starting to pick up, and he wanted me to focus on my core job. So he he treated this as like my little hobby job, right? A hobby career and stuff like that. And um, it, it look at where I am today. You know, I'm I've, I'm I've grown a fantastic team of advisors. Uh, we're all across Malaysia. In fact, we will be having a Diva Rumors road tour. So we are going to have demos from all the way from Kedah to Johor, Sabah, and we might have one in Sarawak. Maybe, maybe, okay? So be on the lookout for our Diva Romas as well as my Grandfather Cook or my social media pages to find out more about the dates. But orang Sabah, kalau kau di Sabah kan, okay, 22 hari bulan, December, dan 26 hari bulan, nanti saya akan keluarkan poster yang lagi elok lah kan? Please mark your dates, okay? So we've got one on the 22nd from... Uh, la, 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 2 to 4 p.m. That's going to be in KK Times Square. And one more uh, on the 26th, I'm going to go at SICC. But we've got very limited spots because kau tahu kan, kita mesti jaga SOP. Kita mesti juga takut ba. Kita kena macam, you know, kita kena adhere to all the SOPs so that we can, you know, flatten the curve of the pandemic. We're going to still stay safe, guys. So, seats are very limited. I have one also on this Saturday, which is at PJ, the headquarters punya. And I've got another four more seats left if you're interested. So, please... PM Tepi, okay? We're going to have a face-to-face -face and that's happening at 10 a.m. We can also do it virtually. So reach out to the advisors who are probably commenting over here to find out a little bit more. And I think later on, I will also put the registration form so that you can come in if you are interested to find out a little bit more. Okay. Any more here? Okay, let me see. Oh, Shafi is also... Because I'm, I'm streaming this over... Facebook as well as uh, YouTube. So I've got some comments also coming in from YouTube. Every household needs a Thermomix. I'm not making money with a Thermomix, but I can save my money with Thermomix and my TM6 tak jemuh bagi idea apa nak masak ini daripada Yuzila Abdullah. That's correct, you know. Can you imagine when I first purchased the Thermomix back in mid last year? No, no, no. Yeah, mid last year. Just after Isidore, Elon was born. Um, the Cookie Do recipe, which is an integrated recipe platform um, that is constantly evolving and growing, uh, had over about 50,000 recipes inside. Tetapi sekarang, selalu kalau saya buat saya punya presentation pitch kan, saya cakap 75 ribu bah. Macam wow, dulu 60, terus 75 kan. Now it's about 80,000 recipes you all, so you will constantly have ideas on what to cook. And because of our, of our group chat that we have, right, they're so active, you'll never be bored or without an idea of or clueless on what to cook next. Ada je idea-idea di Varomas ni. Ada je macam, oh, jom kita buat ni. We have cook-alongs. Uh, we have cooking shows. We have one-on-one, -on -one, of course. Um, and we've got also some sales advisors who also teach us. So, yeah, come and join us because we are a fun, fun bunch. Fat, fats, Fatima Muldizi says, My husband can't eat salty and processed food because he is a cro... Alamak, he went and jumped up. Because he's a chronic, okay, chronic kidney patient. Thanks to Thermomix, really helped me cook sedap sedap. But my sayang, without worrying the excess salt or processed food, happy me. Fats is actually one of my sales advisors also, and let me tell you her story. Okay, her story is that her she has to take her husband for dialysis treatment. Um, I think it's three or four times in a week, and sometimes. Lama juga lah kan, that whole treatment kan, it takes... So she started bringing her thermal mix over because sometimes we want to do lives and she wants to be part of it. I mean, she's very much uh, participative in all our, activ our branch activities, right? And she'll just bring her thermal mix and there she will be feeding the staff at the particular spot where she... the, the, the dialysis centre that her husband and her go to every uh, two, three weeks in a week... Uh, two, two, three times in a week. And she has also made a lot of... Uh, so she has paid off her installments um, by also creating all these wonderful dishes that she just makes out of love. Like, kadang kadang she just gave, gave, gives it to her neighbors because she believes, I mean, she makes a lot, can she? does all these cooking shows and, like, how much food can she be 
giving kan to anak-anak and her husband can't take salty or processed food so she sends it around to her neighbors and the neighbors start ordering from her so it's as simple as that um she is also one of our uh, fast and furious where you, if you do fast and furious it means that you sell six units within a shorter frame of time then you get more incentive rewards and gifts so she's one of my fast and furious um achievers oh wait hold on no maybe not i can't remember now but i think she is because i know my first batch was like all fast and furious but that is what a fast and furious achiever is and she earned her free unit so she's got a she's got two two units and i think she sold the other one all right zawani says lama dah tak jumpa mama dekat rumah ni sampai la mama i'm guessing the mama restaurant sampai lalu depan kedai balik dari kedai aceh dia jerit mek lama tak singgah now can dine in marilah saya belanja teh tarik ki 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 tidak hari-hari mengadap laki bini kat floor kedai mungkin dia terasa kehilangan antara biggest contributor pada sales dia before because zawani um Belly cooks at home. She spoke about it in a previous comment earlier on, and uh, now she just does a lot of cooking. Um, and that's just it. I was, so, you know, sometimes when I go out and makan dekat luar kan, because I'm able to do sous vide steaks, uh, salmon. Um, I make my own dumplings. I make my breads, pizzas. You name it, I can do it. Uh, when I eat out, and sometimes you just want to have that experience of enjoying a meal outside with your family, right? I'll go through the menu and I'm like, okay, I can make this, I can make this. Because sometimes when we want to eat let's say for instance spaghetti bolognese or spaghetti carbonara, right? And you order it from the restaurant and you're paying like what 18, 23 ringgit for that particular dish, katakan lah kan. You're going that and it doesn't taste how you want it to taste like kan. Dah la satu mahal compared to the cost that it does to make it. But then fine, you're you're paying for the service, you're paying for the experience of eating and dining out. So because I've been disappointed before I always go okay what menu what dish in this menu can I eat that I malas nak buat dengan thermomix misal kata like the the soup dumpling that's very tedious to make lah it takes quite a long like a long time and there's like because uh, I'm very not patient you know you have to make it like super thin and make it like that and then go to the soup and everything so that's a little bit more fun for me tedious for me it can be done there's videos over your cookie do that shows you how it can be done But for me, I'm like, you know what? If I can buy it, let's just get it right. And because the food's good, so I will go for dishes like that. I have to be. I'm very pedantic now on how I look at my food. Not only that, but because of my thermal mix career, and I also encourage all my diva romas to join in this food handling course, which is conducted by a agency certified by the Ministry of Health, right? And it's a simple three-hour course where you get a certificate to say that you have. Uh, gone through this course and it's specifically uh, it's a must it's a criteria for anyone who handles food so if you're in the food business then you do and because i don't sell food like some of my advisors because i just eat all my food because i'm just like tamma gluttonish like that and my kids always like love my food and they go to finish it up everything but also because um i started to bake cupcakes uh not now because i've been busy but previously when i had a bit more time on my hands i started uh, baking cake cupcakes to for this donation drive um and because of that they encouraged us to go through a food handling course because you know we are preparing food for orang lain kan tak kisah lah untuk business ke untuk charity ke we're still handling food and that's when i realized it was very simple it's conducted by one of my sales advisors her name is Puan Amira so if you are interested to find out a little bit more about uh, food cost food handling cost also murah sahaja 50 ringgit sahaja ah 50 ringgit sahaja yes but then uh, Yeah, DM me and I can tell you a little bit more because it's just 50 ringgit and you can do it virtually. Um, but yes, going back to that, when we go through that three-hour course, I'm like, you, 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 and because of that, I'm so observant about how restaurants are. I've always been very particular about the toilets. Can I told you even my flying kan? Saya macam, oh, saya tengok dulu tandas bersih kan tidak kan? Kalau bawa ke tu, ah tidak itu jam that sit out kan? So even in restaurants, the first thing my dad taught me this is, kau pergi check dulu tu tandas. Kalau tu tandas kan kotor kan? Maksudnya tu kitchen pun kotor. Maksudnya dia punya food handling pun buruk. But sometimes macam, wah, some kan, wah, huh, very clean, ah, huh? very clean. They put a lot of bleach and that got the smell of the clean, ah. Huh? But then, hmm, hmm, hampe, hampe. The rest is all kotor, right? Because now you will have to go into the apron, what they where how they are they are they wearing gloves are they wearing cap because you never know kan nanti dia punya rambut keluar ke kau check dulu sana corner corner kau check what how do they handle the spoons and stuff like that i was a banquet wait- waitress um when i was 15 years old in changri la tanjung aru proud of it love the fact that i was earning money at a very young age that i can buy my k2 rollerblades but yes i also know how things can be behind that really grand fine dining area you know So we always made sure that we had to keep 
the area, the food area clean and stuff like that. It can be a little bit messy because you've got oils and your people lalu lalang. So don't think that everything is so fine and dandy, okay? All right, any more questions before we wrap up the show? I didn't even go through all my comments, but that was basically the the gist of it. Yeah, so someone asked Daphne to artist category apa penyanyi pelakon. Hmm. I don't really like that word celebrity or artist. Although I am a Thermomix advisor and that's an artistry on its own anymore there. I'm just going to go through this. I know there was a few more. No more. Okay. I guess I'm not going to go through the 2 3000 comments here, but that basically addresses some of the comments and again there was no ill intent or malice that was um, you know thought or pro- to provoke anyone out there it was merely to say that i am glad that i have my thermomix because not only can i bake fluffy soft bread i can make so much other things and it's all done in one gadget and if you would like to find out more please get in touch with us we would love to hear from you you can earn it for free we have 90 days to do so and we've got many success stories i could go on and on about this but i think it's best that you hear us on a closed zoom so that you can ask me away because right now it's just like a one way conversation and come and join us for our demos we've got one this saturday at 10 a.m. i've got another 4 5 slots left so be sure to dm me as soon as this live is over and i shall see you and i hope again that i have not offended anyone i love my gardenia bread so there's no malice towards them i just love the fact that i can now bake my own breads and many more with my thermo mix with that i am Daphne Iking i'm the proud penjual thermo mix branch manager of Divaromas good night everybody and see you soon <laughs>